Here's McGrady. McGrady felt some contact, threw it up at the basket. And Jarebko called for the foul. McGrady playing mostly on his sagacity these days, folks. Doesn't have to lift in his legs anymore. But still shrewd enough on penetration to get to the free throw line as he does this time. And McGrady, you just don't know on a given night right now how the knee is going to respond. We've seen some nights where he looks great, scores, able to do a lot of things, and then there are other nights where he's obviously still dragging and there's some soreness and, and stiffness. Knocks down the first couple of free throws. They have been struggling from the line, only 72%. Of their 60 games. Hamilton Steer, their leading scorer. Mixed with some continuity here. McGrady gets inside and kicks it out. McGrady will be a distributor a lot tonight. He's fouled on the pass. He's mad at himself because he knew if he threw it up toward the basket, he'd be back at the line. He had ample time to do so. That's why he was upset. So the Knicks have. And a defensive three seconds, so a technical foul. By the way, that foul on Jarebko. Perhaps guys not knowing or knowing they're not going to be here. Another nice move from Stucky. Uh, subconsciously, sometimes you might not completely commit and sacrifice, and I think it, it paid its price. Yeah. And then I mentioned lack of a leader to rally the troops. So you fall into that stagnation. You've been talking about that not just this year, for years here at Madison Square Garden. Bad pass from Jarebko, good anticipation from McGrady. Two on one, David Lee, the finish. Perfect timing from McGrady on the pass. Two Aaron plays by Jarebko. This Prince, Rodriguez picks it up. Nice pass inside, Lee shuffled it. McGrady with four on the shot clock, puts it in. Knicks up by nine, their largest lead here in the first. McGrady, before that shot, folks, only two of 14 from downtown, so maybe he's getting those legs back now. Good effort that time by the Knicks. Second opportunity, T Mac, the recipient. Make that a 10 point lead off the three pointer. Though, with 2.15 remaining, good hustle from the Knicks. Excellent ball movement and a double figure lead. They could stop him. McGrady gets it, sealed off Gordon nicely, and then draws the foul. T Mac thriving, getting to the line. Day inside, and Prince with an easy layup. Day 6 11. Good perimeter shooter, but that time creating off the dribble. McGrady against the rookie. Strip, nice play from Day. And Prince comes out of the pack. Job by Gallo, look at the hands. Going away, but can't get it to go. Harrington. Rips down the rebound. House to McGrady. McGrady fires and hits. Tracy McGrady, his second field goal. The Knicks back up by eight. Excellent balance in the Knicks scoring. All five starters between seven and nine points. Oh, look out. Prince misses the jam. It deflects to Stuckey, and he's able to. No, throws off the rim. McGrady again. Knocks down the three. Tracy McGrady puts the Knicks back up by 11. Five consecutive points by T Mac. He's filling it from the perimeter now. And John Kuster calls timeout. McGrady was looking to pass early. Now looking for his offense fly. Yeah, watch him get in rhythm coming down the court. Right there, gets his rhythm. Rises for the trade. The Pistons are talking it over. He's had it. Hamilton <laughs> misfires. Nice feed, McGrady. Walker had it blocked, gets it back, goes up again, and he's hit by Max Seal. What a pretty pass from Tracy McGrady. And that's when I didn't know he was such a good passer. An unselfish player. Remember when he was with Houston? He and Yao Ming had trouble playing together, it seems, at time because both guys wanted to score. But T Mac has had no problem here being very altruistic. The Seattle guards and how close they still are. When they go back in the summer, they all play together. They all have different foundations and charity games and really give back to the community. As McGrady nails a jumper. And it said there's about. Sometimes that works. 
McGrady drives and draws yet another foul. Things have been to the line. This will be the 17th and 18th times of the half, which is a good number. As Max Seal picks up his second. Usually they only go there 21 times during a game. So well above their aggressive numbers right now as T Mac makes the first. Delta halftime report coming up. And Jill Martin will have her give me a minute segment. Regina King, the actress, will be with her. She was in Ray. Will be Ray, wouldn't she? Not Vernon Starr with a quiet first half. Uh, McGrady, the leading scorer for the Knicks, and he's without Troutwood. Okay, Mike Tracy, it seemed as though you were very conscious to get your passing going and then just let the offense come to you, and then you wound up being in a pretty good flow. Yeah, I'm just trying to come out with a lot of energy, do something to inspire my team. That's the way you get out of funk. You know, your best player has to step up and bring some energy and do something to inspire his team. I want to come out, be aggressive, make some passes, get my teammates going, and also get going on the offensive end. Where are you and all the other new guys as far as getting used to each other? Well, we're still learning. It's a process every day. You know, we really haven't had that, that many practices to, to really get the flow. Um, but, so we're just going off on the fly, and, you know, that's just how, how it is when you're mid-season like this. All right, thanks. Coach Hill. Thank you. <laughs> Back to you, Mike. All right, Al. McGrady setting the tone. Knicks with 50% shooting at 14 assists, just three turnovers, and very balanced scoring. With the lack of size, Maxiel barrels into Gallinari. Both on a foul call. Shot clock at two. Hamilton's going to hoist up a three. It's the rim. McGrady the rebound. And bad. Well, he does get it to Harrington. Hamilton stopped. Looked like he had an easy beat on the ball, but just stopped. It was such an exquisite pass. That's why he stopped. He knew it was in vain. Knocks down the three. It's uh, they're saying it a two. 79-71. The Pistons are back now. They're only a runaway. Look at their defense when they start to score. Good vexing D right here. McGrady leans in and gets hit. Uh, Kevin McHale, the Hall of Famer, is now a broadcaster, and he's pretty entertaining, don't you think? Yeah, I've seen him on uh, the NBA channel. Seems to like it. Got a great sense of humor. <laughs> Now, did you ever think, because I'm sure a lot of people didn't know if he was ever going to, did you think when you were playing that this is where you'd wind up? No, I never saw this opportunity. Uh, I thought I'd be in St. Croix where I am. <laughs> I resigned myself that, hey, this is what I'll be doing. And chartering my boat to tourists and I went to my house. I never saw the NBA prospering as it did when Magic and Bird came and then uh, Jordan taking it to the pinnacle. Because when I played, a lot of the teams were losing money, so it was a bleak, uh, bleak future for the league at that time. I like the story Mike Reardon told the other day. Can't remember which which paper I read it in. As Prince loses it out of bounds, Reardon told the story that Phil Jackson used to tease him all the time. He would say to him, "Hey, Mike, you you are so into basketball." So he's a chemistry guy, Jarepko. Brings the chemistry to a to a starting five. Bad pass, but McGrady gets it back. McGrady on the drive, flips it up, and in. And the Knicks back up by 15, equaling their largest lead, and then a travel on Bynum. Who was selected by Washington, but traded to Boston, and never really got a chance to play with the Celtics because of their depth. Just happened to go the year, the year Kevin Garnett goes. McGrady with the block shot. And his family. But here you have a guy given an opportunity Two games, he's not, you know what? The Knicks are going to take a good long look at this kid now. They have to. He's only 22. McGrady hits it. Everything going in for the Knicks. 119.97 or more. Max Seal the rebound. Eddie House harassing, helping force that. Harrington, <laughs> Harrington was looking to make his play before he caught it. Knicks can afford to smile tonight. Substitutions. T Mac has made some extraordinary passes. Harrington has been a beneficiary a couple of times. This time, overzealous, could not get a handle, so the Pistons bring it up.